Okay, folks, so we're going to run through what you do with a PoE injector and how to use it and what PoE or power over Ethernet actually is. So we'll start off with your hotspot. Your hotspot's got at least this Ethernet port. This is a DIY, so it's got a couple extras, but yours probably looks just like this if it's a rack. They all have that Ethernet port, and then they've all got a power port as well. So normally, if you're going to put your hotspot outside or up high, um, you need to connect it to both power and the internet. And you could do that with two separate cords, Ethernet cord going in here and your power cord going in here. Or you could do it with one long Ethernet cord that carries both power and Ethernet and splits them out at the last minute. So we'll start on the router side. Let's say you got your router right here. And you are going to plug an Ethernet cable into your router and into what's called an injector. So this is a PoE injector. And these ports are labeled. So this says power and data out and data in. So we're going to go... The data in, we're going to pretend that this is a router and that gets plugged into the router. So now you've got data coming out of the router and into your injector. You also need to get power into this injector. So they all come with a power cable. You'll plug the power cable into the other side. And as long as I get that in the right way, you'll plug the other end into the wall. So now I've got power coming in and we've got Ethernet coming in. What we're going to have coming out is... This is your, your super long cable that you can use for Ethernet. So I've got a short one here just for the demo, but you can go up to, I think, 300 feet on this. So this will go into the port marked power and data out. So power's coming in, Ethernet's coming in from the router, and then out along here is your um, Ethernet and power, so your PoE. And that on the far side, if that goes into enclosure outside or that goes to a hotspot up in your attic, whatever it is, that's first going to go into what's called a PoE splitter. And that splitter is going to split out the power and the Ethernet. So comes in on this side, it's carrying the power and the Ethernet on this side. This goes out, split out to two cables. You just want to make sure you get the right type of power cable. Some of the different hotspots are powered differently. I've got a rack, so that's what we got. And you'll plug in, in fact, I'll plug it in this order. You'll plug in the Ethernet first, and then you'll plug in the power. And that's it. That's all there is to power over Ethernet. It's pretty simple. You've got an injector on one side and a splitter on the other. In some of the cases, like the outdoor Nebra, this is actually already in the unit. So all you have to plug in um, directly to the outdoor Nebra unit is just your Ethernet cable. It'll do all the splitting on the inside. Um, they're all a little bit different, but that's how PoE works. Rock on!